Hi, I'm James Bruce, MakeUseOf.com, and today we're talking about projectors, specifically this one. Now, projectors are awesome. Nothing beats playing video games or watching a movie on a really big screen. It's just so immersive. But they generally start at around $700 for an HD model, making them prohibitively expensive when you can buy a HD TV for under $500. This, however, is the Atco 3800 Lumens uh, budget unbranded projector with an Android media system built into it, and it retails for just shy of $400, including delivery directly from China. Now, the point of my review today is, is to see if this basically unbranded model will do the same job, but for half the price, and the verdict is decidedly positive. It comes in this completely unbranded packaging. This is its box, the box it came in. But it's packed full of extras. We've got a wireless mouse here, high quality HDMI cable, power cable, two free pairs of red blue 3D glasses, no idea what they're for, VGA cable, screen cleaner, component cables, software CD, extra screws just in case you lose some and even spare fuses. Let's take a closer look. The only kind of branding you'll find on the projector itself is the letters HD at the front here, which is kind of pointless. The build quality isn't bad, it certainly doesn't feel like it would break easily, though I do have concerns about the spinning uh, screen adjuster here, which you adjust the tilt with. Around the back here you'll also find a plethora of ports, no less than two HDMI ports, composite and component, as well as stereo audio out, although there is a basic speaker built in. There's VGA, S-Video, and even an analog cable for uh, aerial input, though it doesn't work with modern digital services here. Finally, there's two USB ports and an SD card slot, both for use with the Android subsystem. Screen focus is done manually around the front here by twisting the lens. Operating the projector is a simple case of switching between sources, but choose the Wi-Fi option to launch the built-in Android 4.22 system that's built into the projector. I was pleasantly surprised. Compared to the karaoke box I reviewed last month, the Android system here is actually quite responsive. It's unlocked, of course, and with full Google Play access, you can install whatever you want. I added Xbox Media Center and some of the streaming plugins, which worked fine. YouTube also streams HD videos fine too, so it's a remarkably capable built-in media player. One point to note is that this isn't an ultra short throw projector, which accounts for a big part of the price difference. The Optima GT750, for instance, can project to a large wall-sized image from a coffee table in front of it. This one, by contrast, needs to be placed at the back of the room or on the ceiling, and even then you're looking at a maximum of about 150 inch screen size with reasonable brightness. The throw ratio is about 0.8, so I was able to achieve a screen size of about 75 inches from 8 feet away. You could do bigger in a larger room though. The brightness is actually really good, and at a quoted 3800 lumens, and can be used with a little ambient light. The LED lamp will supposedly last for 50,000 hours, and although it's non-replaceable, the estimated lifetime, if it's correct, even at 3 hours use a day, it would last you 45 years. So I wouldn't stress too much on that point. Especially if you factor in the price for new bulb, other projectors every 2 years, this budget model really does offer fantastic value for money. The fact it has a half-decent Amboid system built in is just a bonus. Overall then, Excellent buy. Head on over to makeuseof.com to win this model and read the full review. Thanks for watching.